Happy Thursday and happy National No Bra Day. Uh, okay. Moving right along, I'm your host Andrew, and welcome again to another supersized episode of Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. First up, one of the first panels at Bitcoin Amsterdam centered on inflation, with a warning that the Fed's push to tighten interest rates will create a death spiral and a credit collapse. Entrepreneur Jeff Booth argued that inflation is man-made, and prices should fall as mankind invents ways of doing things better. Inflation is currently running red hot in many major economies, and he warned that even the 2% target rate is theft in your money. Fellow panelist Greg Foss told the crowd that total global debt now stands at $400 trillion, but as the global economy is worth only $100 trillion per year, it's unable to keep up. Both men argued that Bitcoin serves as insurance and a hedge against inflation, describing it as pure mathematics. Earlier this month, Portugal announced that it was planning to tax crypto gains at 28%, potentially harming its reputation as a Bitcoin-friendly destination. But, according to Andre Loa, this won't affect efforts to bring Bitcoin to Madeira. He is spearheading efforts to make the autonomous region a hub for crypto. Speaking to our podcast, Loa said the proposals could have been far worse, and Madeiran officials would want to help make improvements to the law. In the years to come, Loa hopes that support for Bitcoin will attract younger people and better salaries to the island, as well as crypto-focused businesses. But he said there are lessons to be learned from El Salvador, and there needs to be a focus on educating people about Bitcoin. Meanwhile, the CEO of Coin Corner has told us that the cost of living crisis has had an impact on Bitcoin adoption in the UK. Danny Scott says many Britons currently have bigger problems to deal with and are distracted as interest rates, mortgage payments, and energy bills rise. While signups at the British crypto exchange have slowed down as a result of the bear market, Scott believes that they may have already bottomed out and will start to increase again. The interview came as Coin Corner announced that it was expanding its Bitcoin and Lightning services to El Salvador, meaning customers there will be able to start using the company's Bolt card. The company says it wants to improve the experience for everyday users. A rather interesting debate broke out at a panel on the first day of Bitcoin Amsterdam, and it's centered around Andrew Tate. The crypto trading entrepreneur, who has had a local following on social networks, offers financial freedom through a so-called Hustlers University. Podcaster Layla Helpern told the crowd she supports Tate because she is against cancel culture. But this prompted Peter McCormick to ask whether she believed that he was a scammer. He's creating controversial content, driving people to his website, and signing people up for substandard products, which are basically shit. McCormick said, Helpern shot back, saying many find Tate's content valuable, and his offering is far cheaper than university anyway. And finally, a crypto-focused nonprofit has announced that it's suing the U.S. Office of Foreign Assets Control over its decision to sanction Tornado Cash. Coin Center has accused the Treasury of making it a crime to use the coin mixing service, which has been used by North Korea to launder stolen cryptocurrencies. Setting out its argument, the organization said that Tornado Cash is crucial for maintaining privacy and affording Ethereum users the same rights rights as salaried employees or charitable donors in a traditional fiat world. Privacy is not the default on Ethereum. If you do your job on Ethereum, your coworkers can see your salary. If you donate to a political cause on Ethereum, the enemies of your cause can see your contribution, it argued. And speaking of anonymity, some identified person left a note here for me. Let's see what this says here. Oh, weird. It it says that you should like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. Uh, who would do something like this? And what about you, dear viewer? What do you think about Andrew T. Marmite? Uh, yeah, what's your what's your opinion on Marmite? Have you ever had it? What do you think about it? Yeah, leave, leave some comments about Marmite. And someone who also likes their B vitamins, Alex. Ask Alex in the description below if you have any questions about our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and the Metaverse, and that does it. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see you all tomorrow, the most magical day of the week, Friday.